What up, what up? It's Dante with my man Colin. Barstool backstage here in Brooklyn at The Mirage with arguably the hottest guy in EDM right now. Hey, what's up, boss? <laughs> John, John <laughs> Summit. I'll, I'll take that Let's intro any day. John Summit. <laughs> International man of mystery, John yeah. Summit. Yes, dude. sir. <laughs> uh, just to start off, we're yeah. obviously here at the beautiful Brooklyn Mirage, but you've been very busy. Can you just go over your schedule? I've been following you on Instagram, dude. Where uh, the hell have you been? I've been everywhere, bro. I just came back from Bali. I was in Montreal last night. I was, I don't know. I don't know where. Like I've been, the last two, <laughs> like the last two weeks, where we were. I was just in LA. I did LA, Vegas, and then LA again. Um, I kind of just wake up and I look at my calendar. I'm like, this is where I'm going tonight. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, dude. You must have a good team. Yeah, yeah, no, no. They schedule all my hotels and everything. I just got to wake up and uh, just plug in and press play. <laughs> Amazing. So you're doing a double show here yep. today, yep. which is on. I've never heard of anybody doing that. Uh, yeah. Your label. Label, sub label. So it's a label, but then also like an event brand. So we call it Off the Grid. The goal is that we're gonna be throwing events, you know, in the middle of the desert, jungle, and everything. Yeah. But right now we're going Off the Grid in Brooklyn, and so that we kind of bring that vibe to it. And I bring out all like my favorite artists and everything it's to fucking play. awesome, man. You got all you're putting on all your uh, people opening up for you daytime and nighttime. Yep. You're doing two sets here. Uh, what happened? The first show was announced at night and sold so, out like yeah it sold out in like 20 minutes <laughs> and then they're like well what should we do i'm like well we'll just throw the party all day so we're and that's why i'm here right now it's a beautiful day so i think it turned out pretty well well, well i mean once again yeah. we were just talking about this off air but you're complaining that the show only goes till 4 30 in the morning <laughs> like what, what, what's, well, a, what's thought, a day in the life bro? well i, I want to play till the sun comes up obviously. you know i got a track called sun came up you know yeah. that's the best time to play it right? obviously and um and I don't really sleep too much, obviously. So uh, that was preferred. I'm sh I'm sure we'll figure out an after party somewhere in yeah, this. An after party <laughs> at four thirty in the morning. Yeah, is an unbelievable th those are the best after dude. parties. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, you have had a year. I, I mean, I I don't know how you're awake right now, yeah. honestly. Just Red Bull, seeing, <laughs> dude. Uh -huh. I mean, so you in a visa residency. No, well, in Ibiza, I just played at a bunch of different clubs. But, I mean, you basically live there all the oh, time, Oh, yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. And then... So I'd go there for a day, party, and then I'd fly all the way back to America, whatever, <laughs> play shows. I was explaining I was explaining I, this I, to I, Colin before we yeah, got here. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. like, I was like, most people that are based in America... Kind of stay there. there. And, then go to, and then go to Europe for, like, a no. tour, and then come back. I'm like, this guy was over there. Every and week. Come to America... And then go back there, like I kind of like it though, because like it forces me to fall asleep because there's nothing to do, you know, when uh, you're on the plane. Right? So that's the only way you can get to sleep yeah, is I, international I think, travel. I th yeah, I think I think my managers forced <laughs> me to like go very far distances. Jesus Christ! <laughs> no, and I, I mean I, I I said this before we started, but like yeah. I'm an outsider to the the dance music world, and obviously dance music has been having a big year from the perspective of. Not only what you're doing, but then yeah. even the mainstream artists like yeah. Drake and Beyonce yep. having these things. Like, what what's the status of kind of the house, the EDM world right now? I mean, I think it's insane. I think it's what everyone listens to. I'm incredibly biased in this. Yeah, but I was like, gonna say. <laughs> when you're free gaming, your after party, whatever, it's like you know, just the best vibes in the world, and the fact that every artist is getting on board. I mean, Drake's going to like the most underground parties too, where I'm seeing him in videos. I'm like, holy shit, Drake's there, like. It's kind of cool. I mean, <laughs> even as a music nerd, like knowing that yeah. Black Coffee and Gordo worked yep. on that record and shit. So I'm interested. That's a great segue because I'm interested to hear kind of your origin story. Obviously, yeah. you know, you're you're on Barstool backstage right now. Um, not everybody. I mean, first off, your fan base, like how you've cultivated the following you have. Is, yeah. I think every artist dream. Yeah, honestly, yeah, yeah, yeah. like you have. I would say like the fun fans yes. as yep, compared yep. to it's like, always a party dude <laughs> some of these you know some of these groups everyone's so like hipsterish yeah just miserable yep. i mean everyone that i mean i'm looking forward to seeing the show because everyone here has had to have a fucking good time literally and, that's all that matters and it's not like going too crazy or whatever but everyone's here to kind of let loose a bit i mean i feel like they feed off your energy too so 100%. if i'm up there having a good time 
I'm drinking tequila. Hundred yeah, percent. You know I, mean? I don't know if I'm the world's best influence, but I'm, <laughs> it's a fun influence. Nobody's so. coming to the the fucking house show to worry about their wonderful influence. Exactly. This is exactly. the good side of life. This well, is the fun part. Well, to tell you my background though, so I was an accountant. I worked for Ernst and Young. I've done that whole thing, and my whole way of letting go was doing this. Yeah. And then my music started really blow up, so eventually I was like, "Fuck this, I quit." So you, <laughs> all right? So you what? You went to U of I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you grow up in Chicago? So the suburbs of Chicago. Chicago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So you're a U of I guy, which yep. obviously, that's that's Illinois school. And terrible sports with great parties. <laughs> yes, <sir>. Awesome <laughs> parties. That's were all you, it kind of matters. Were you a frat guy or no? Yeah, I was in one. Yeah, yeah. And I was and I was a bartender as well. And then I got fired bartending. Hell yeah. And so I was like, well, I still want to work at this bar. And they're like, well, we need a DJ. So I'm like, I'll figure it out. No shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. I, all right, so you I drinking, got forced into this. Were you drinking behind the bar? Was that your deal? Well, you know, well, I, I, I served a cop. You know, because you, oh. you, you, you can go into the bars in 19 at University of Illinois, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're that, talking to two yeah. bartenders. So I, was, I was wondering about, like, What's the background? Why did you get fired? I'm yeah, just yeah, curious. Yeah, because they're like, actually, you know, I was underage and I'm a cop. I was like, fuck. Fuck you, dude. Okay, I'm, so, like, I'm like, well, we need a DJ. So. so you fell into DJing at a college bar. Yeah. Obviously, you, you're not playing, like, deep dish and shit there, right? No, like, no. Well, the, what, like, the last hour. You're like, playing, this, like, Britney Spears. And, oh, fuck yeah, bro. I'm playing everything. Hell yeah. <laughs> so how did you. This how, is, like, back in, like, the Trap Queen days you're playing. I'm wearing, like, you know, top 40, all the hip hop, all that shit. Nothing but Fetty Wap for it's, an hour. Literally, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. But then the last hour, like it would get, you can do like dance music and stuff. And I was like already going to all the raves and everything too. So I had the passion and then I could use it. And then from there, I was like, I love this shit. Yeah. What Started drew you music. into house music? Obviously, um, just, growing up in Chicago, but what was your introduction to that scene? Just going to parties and stuff. Like, like if you go the under, like the after parties, if you stay up late enough. <laughs> yeah. You know, if you go to a club, they're playing, you know, just typical music. They're like, yo, let's go here, and then you listen. You're like, what the hell is this? Yep. <laughs> like, this is something I've never heard before. And then I kind of, it's like a whole rabbit hole. And before you know it, you're listening to like techno at six in the morning. What's what? <laughs> what all right, so like we I, we ask this to a lot of guests, but like. Yeah. Give me something that is something people wouldn't expect you to listen to. Like, do you have like a deep like, I don't know, like guilty pleasure music? Uh, like you Shania Twain your, guy. Your, like, your, your boy loves Lady Gaga. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> That's not bad. I like I that. that. Hell yeah. No, I love I love I love all pop music and stuff too. I mean, if it's good and realistable, you know what I mean. Like, yeah. I'll listen to fucking David Guetta. I don't give a shit. You know what I mean? Well, I play that in my sets and my parties now. Yeah. But everyone has their, like, guilty pleasures that get them going. 100%. I was wondering if you were, like, a, like an old-school country guy. Like, oh, you know, no, no, <laughs> no. Not that, that, that guilty of a pleasure. <laughs> no, absolutely. No, but, I mean, dude, you've been on an unbelievable run. And for me, it's fun from someone looking from the outside of, the like, the dance music world. Yeah. You're also just a great social media follow. Like, what was, yeah. like, did you, like look at it as a like the perspective of like okay i just gotta be myself because so many people put a phone yeah. on, on social yeah, well, media i always hated because when i got into djing it was just like all like the press photo guys yeah. and like all they did, they're like never smiling or anything yeah. like you don't know <laughs> the person behind it whatsoever right you know um and for me, I've always had the same tweets since I've had like 300 followers. I've been like completely unhinged the whole time. <laughs> but then when I was starting to like gain a following and stuff, like I realized that being unhinged kind of worked. So I'm yeah. like, why well, fix when it ain't broke? And at first we were like, don't you have like a PR team or manager telling you not to say this shit? I'm like, I don't know. Dude, he fits <laughs> right in with us, bro. Let's go. You're not a coward. That's the it's, most important exactly. thing. And I think people, you know, it can go like at any like celebrities and stuff. People are attracted to like genuineness. Yep. Even if you don't agree with what someone says, yep. you appreciate that they're not saying like a PR statement every time they tweet or whatever. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing worse than when you just get the same blanket response from yeah, every yeah, fucking yeah, celebrity. Yeah, did this person even tweet this or is this their manager? Yeah, you know I hundred percent. I don't ever think I have a fear of that with you. Like from what I have seen, like you're getting the genuine. Like I mean, dude, yeah, your yeah. fucking uh, Twitter avatar is like from yeah, literally, from literally. Park. It's because the reason behind that is some girl was tripping at Coachella and she's like, literally, all I saw was Ike the entire time. <laughs> and I'm like, this is fucking hilarious. And so I just made that my entire brand. I mean this in the nicest way but after you see that you can't yeah, you can't you unsee can't it you can't unsee it, it. Yeah. you're it's, basically a canadian cartoon dude. basically right. basically yeah canada fox dude oh <laughs> all right so i want to get into how you started actually making music yeah and i mean i know the running joke online is what you're 15 years yeah, old. yeah, yeah, yeah. how old are you for real you're i'm, I'm, I'm 28 years old all right so i'm not that young you're young i'm still you're young. young yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 
at what age did you start saying like I want to make my own shit? This it was right when I started DJing because I was like right when I started I'm like this is the coolest thing in the world. There's nothing cooler than playing your own music. Right. So what were, are you just, on like Fruity Loops? Are you on Ableton? Uh, Ableton, Ableton. Ableton. Right. And there's all these YouTube tutorials out there. And you know, I was studying for accounting and I'm like taking Adderall and I'm like, well, I don't want to do this, but I want to be productive. So I just watched like endless YouTube tutorials and it was the whole rabbit hole. So you're now, self-taught? I, I, oh yeah, yeah, I have my own YouTube tutorials on YouTube as Dude, well. Dude, I know they're awesome. Uh, oh yeah. So they're good. awesome. <laughs> I want to ask about the, the first one I ever saw you do yeah, yeah, was yeah. with uh, another Chicago Lee Foss? Chicago legend, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. did he, I mean, I, I, I know we're jumping all around right now and this yeah. story's crazy, but your origin story is just so fucking awesome to me because, yeah. I mean, how do you cross paths with him and how does he, like, so, what goes through your head when he's like, I'm going to start playing your stuff in, in my So set? I was, like, emailing him every week and eventually he responds. He's like, oh, this is dope, this is dope. Oh, what, you were this. sending him your songs? Yeah, 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 but he doesn't even know I'm from Chicago or anything. Okay. And then I saw him play at Spy Bar and he opened with my song, played, like, eight of my tracks and then closed with one of my songs. No. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then so I go up to him. I'm wait, like, wait, and you have no idea this is happening. Well, well I'm in the crowd, so no, I know. It's, no, it, I mean, but ahead of time? Oh, no, zero idea. Oh, and, my and me God. And all my friends are like, what the fuck you is going like, on? you think you were, like, tripping or something? Oh, a thousand percent. I was, yeah. like, I was like, he's opening with my song, and then I tell him afterwards, I'm like, hey, I'm from Chicago, too. And then he freaks out. He's like, I literally just, like, didn't even know who you were. I just downloaded the songs. And then from there, he kind of, like, took me under his wing. He's like, you know, a fellow Chicago guy. I love your music. And so I kind of do owe him for, like, just kind of blowing me up and really putting me on the map. But it was totally natural, though. That's fucking That's yeah. crazy. Right? Story, right? 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 Crazy. <laughs> I mean, Imagine if you're at a show yeah, yeah, right? you know and like, you like, start like hearing your own see, stuff. Like, like, the like Black Keys, and then all of a sudden I'm like, what, what the, the fuck is going on, dude? And we're, like, taking shots to the bar. I'm like, I think this is my song. And I'm like, yo, you guys are tripping because my friends knew my music, too. And then I heard it more. I was like, holy shit. <laughs> and all your friends are like, you had to know something about this, right? And you're like, right. I have no fucking idea Zero what's going idea. on right now. Because he was my favorite DJ. So I was like, we're, we go with, every time he plays, we'd go there in Chicago. Unbelievable. Yeah. Spy bar, legendary place. Tom's a transplant. And that's his favorite. Fuck yes. Chicago yeah. It's spot. proper. It's a proper spot. It's dark, dungy. It's not like you're, there's, uh, there's barely any bottle service. So if you want to get that. Don't go there. Hundred <laughs> percent. If you want to dance to 4 a.m., that's the spot. And the honestly, I think one of the best sound systems I've ever heard. The, yeah. The speakers in there are like refrigerators and literally, literally. Like it, you can you can like hug the speaker on the dance. I go home is, deaf every night. I feel it's like we, so fucking we need loud. an episode of a video series where you guys just take me to Chicago house places because I'm literally. from Philly. I'm out. I'm out of loop on this. I need well, to go and see this. Well, shit. I think a good series that I'd want to do too. It's just like the best. Kind of like Anthony Bourdain, but for clubs where you go like city to city, country to country. And kind of great like idea. That's a great spot. idea. Great idea. Do it more I'm as Guy gonna Fieri. Steal that from you. Yeah, yeah right. do it more uh, as Guy Fieri. Well, like go full like spiked blonde literally, hair. Literally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, yeah, there's nothing worse than like going to like Rome and you're like, damn, like every place you're going to is like a tourist trap. You're like, yep. what's the actual Facts. good spot to go to? Facts. I got a spot in Rome that you got to go to that you walk in. It's someone's house. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's the shit you want. And you're know like, about. whoa, what the fuck is this? And then you walk through the house, and it's like it's like an underground. Yeah, spot. yeah, yeah. It's so. It's, it's actually sick. not a bad TV show idea. Yeah, what right. are we? We're making connections <laughs> here, dude. It's What's genius. the craziest venue you've ever played? Like, as far as like a weird spot where like you're in someone's basement that you can talk about that you can talk about on, legally. Because I'm sure you've done some afters that are. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, we don't talk about those. Yeah. No, yeah, <laughs> absolutely not. Well, I was in uh, Croatia. And I played in a castle, and it was like in a legitimate, like like one of the oldest castles in Europe, and it was where they shot Game of Thrones. That's what the so f it was, and they turned it into a full on rave. Jesus, it sounds like fucking Dracula was gonna show up. Wait, 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 wait. Who so yeah. was this? A uh, like open to the public party? Or was this? Like it was open. Event? It was open to the public because they literally. I don't know how they got like the rights to it. It's kind of insane. I'm not trying to like bash on America, but don't do when it. you hear shit like that, aren't yeah. you like? Other countries are so fucking cool. Nothing like that would ever happen. Well, in I don't this think way. we have Dracula country. castles. Well, we don't have castles. One, but <laughs> well, I think they have like so much pull over the politicians and shit, and they like pay them uh, off. They're like, yo, like give us the White House for a night. <laughs> 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 give us Romania's White House just for a night, dude. John Summers coming through. Literally, we gotta go literally. I think that's how it works. So, John, what was the first? All right, you you're on past U of I bars. What's yeah. the first club? like spy bar level spot that you played in oh. anywhere was it in chicago was it 
Well, it, was, it was called the mid in Chicago. Fuck, used, dude, yeah, the yeah, mid? The place was fucking amazing, the best, dude. The best. The best. They tore that shit down. It's all right. It's kind of like what Prism is now. Yeah. But, a but little, it, was, it was more raw. It was, it was more raw. And, dude, it was the the house spot for maybe like 10 years in Chicago. Literally, oh. literally, literally. Fucking everybody played there. Yeah, yeah. I'm so gonna, you got on at the mid? What, yeah, yeah, was yeah. it like a Friday it was like, night? It was, like a, night? it was like an open ducks night. Sick. Yeah, I still have like pictures from it. Everyone's like, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> How old were you? Bangers. This is right out of college, so like probably like 23. Amazing. 22. Are you yeah. still an accountant at this point? Fuck no, dude. Are you kidding me? Bro, I was just- We don't have time for accounting. This whole time I've been thinking like, were you like doing people's taxes and like just mixing shit on this like uh, while you're at your desk? Uh, like, I, I was when I was an accountant. Yeah, 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 yeah. But now, because I wasn't touring though. Just a bunch yeah. of people like mad about audits and because you've been Literally, fucking missing I, shit. I, and eventually, I just threw my computer. I'm like, fuck this shit, dude. I love that, dude. So I mean, obviously, it worked out. Yeah. You've been having a killer year. You've been everywhere. Has there been one set this year that has like stood out? Obviously, Brooklyn Mirage tonight and today are going to be the sets yeah. we'll be talking about later on. But like today, as far as festivals, different things you've done, has there been one thing that's been like Pro eight, probably Law Palooza because that was like the first time I've ever heard electronic music. I mean, that's yeah. home too for you. Exactly. Yeah. So I don't. My whole family and friends had like 200 people on my guest list. Oh, Oh, that's was, fucking sick. It was insane. So, oh. yeah, yeah. That's where I got my start drinking water bottle vodka at 16 years old. As you should. <laughs> As you should. I mean, uh, Dante, do you have, like, any, like, Chicago things you want to ask specifically? Of course. I uh, will get killed if I don't fire some rapid-fire questions at you. Uh, All right. Chicago-specific. First off, Cubs or White Sox guy? Cubs. Mm. All right. Good to know. Uh, I don't mind the Sox. I don't think it's a rivalry. I hate the Cardinals. Talk to our boy Dave about that, the dude. The <laughs> Talk to our boy Dave about that. <laughs> no, you're right. They're the worst. Uh, favorite Chicago sports team? The Bulls. Your Bulls, right. Bulls guy. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not a big football guy, I'll be honest. But I think it's just because the Bears are so bad and yep. so depressing that the, the last thing I want to do with a Sunday hangover is watch a team that scores <laughs> six points. It's horrendous. I feel so, I feel so it's bad. It's funny to me. I love watching you guys just wallow. Uh... Favorite deep dish spot? Uh, Luminati is basic, but it's it's so good. Fair enough. Uh, favorite Italian beef spot? Uh, I'm between two. I'll go with Al's. You can't go wrong with Al's. What, what was the other one? Um, well, my favorite drunk food spot is called The Hat. And I'd go there after after Spivar every night on North and uh, yeah, Ashland. Exactly, exactly. Great yeah. grease trap I, spot. I, I, I don't even know if the food is good or if I'm just fucked up. <laughs> and That's the best kind of stuff, though. <laughs> it's a grease trap spot. Right. That's That's great right. great I got spot. I got plenty of those in Philly, dude. Plenty of shitty spots that you don't want to remember eating at, but great you spot. fucking love the memories. So you're so you're Wicker Park guy. Uh, yeah, I'm in like West Loop. Nice. So what I was Logan now? So when you're in Chicago, where like if you want to go out and. You're not DJ and you don't want to hear club music. Where do you go? Um, if I'm just taking it easy, you probably just do like Soho House or something, and just do like bars down Randolph or whatever. West Loop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. But usually, just kind of my buddies' places because we're not, you know, because I like all my friends have like deck setups and everything. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. When you're on the road, what is the thing you miss most about Chicago? Uh, it's gonna sound lame, but it's the people. Everyone's real and stuff, you know, you yep. go to LA and whatever, which I love LA, but you know, there's not as many of those yeah. like down to earth kind of you people. You don't got a lot of us, and bro. Out, <laughs> and, out, and out here, everyone's an asshole. Exactly. That, which I, I, which I, do like, I, do I love like, that. I do like that. I like it's good in like, small doses. Off. All right, yeah. so what's your favorite place overseas? Like if you were like going, you're going on a tour, you know you're going to all these different countries and you're hitting all these spots. Is there one place that sticks oh, out Ibiza, to you? Ibiza, bro. Ibiza? It's, it's like Vegas with good music. Ooh, <laughs> to all of our Vegas listeners, fuck you. Oh, it's, it's probably true. That's just low hanging fruit. Yeah. All right, uh, we'll get out of here. I know you gotta, you gotta get on. You gotta stage go on stage, minute, yeah. dude. But uh, really quick, what can your fans look forward to the rest of this year and into 2023? Uh, I got a single you. coming out next month on my label. Hmm? Um, can't really say anything else besides that, Understood. but just a lot more music. And things are gonna get crazy next year. Oh, on that note, label wise, yeah. shout the label out, shout out who's here today, who's supporting. Let's give them some pubs. So down. my label is off the grid. We got Kyle Walker and Deeper Purpose playing today. Tonight, Teeny Gessler and Kyle Watson. We got a bunch of music coming out. It's a Chicago based house music label. Fuck yeah. And yeah, it's exciting. Let's go. All right, everybody, check out John Summit. 
Uh, if you're not here today at Brooklyn Mirage, you fucked up. I'm sorry. It <laughs> sucks. Should have took a plane, take a bus, take a, <laughs> whatever you had to do to get here. Either way, John, it's been an absolute pleasure. You're Appreciate the fucking you man, dude. You're the man. Thank you. Thank you. Barstool guys. backstage. We'll see you guys next time.